you've been in the position here as manager now for a number of weeks. Mm -hmm. How has it been? What's different now? where it was when he started. Yeah, it's been fast paced, it's been exciting. I think initially it was, you know, detached from the players because they, they were in their close season programme, whereas now I've got access to them every day, we're coaching them, we're working with them, um and they're being very responsive to our ideas and, and, and I think we're kind of fusing a bit of commonality in what it is what, that we're trying to do. So yeah, just a, an overriding feeling of excitement just now. And you spoke about the young players that were there and the in and around the squad. Mm -hmm. How important is it bringing in someone like Charlie Mulgrew with their experience and their, you know, what they can bring to mm -hmm. the coaching ground as well as the park? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think I had a, a strong idea of what Charlie Mulgrew would bring, but then when you actually see it in the flesh each day in terms of his presence, his leadership qualities and his quality still as a football player, I think it's only natural that, that everyone looks up to him and he, he commands that respect because of the way he carries himself. So I've been very impressed by him so far and, and everyone's responded to him. And, and the players themselves, have you seen any difference in attitude or performance from some of the players since you've been uh, the manager? I think the, the, the key thing that I was keen to stress when, when I first joined um, as a manager is that I've, I've watched these players from afar over the last two years and top professionals, uh, guys that commit to the club and I think there's just been a continuation of that but I do sense that there's a, a motivation to do well, there, there's, there's, a, there's a real drive and determination and, and again I think the opportunity to prove that on Friday comes around at a good time for us. Looking at the game on on Friday, it's the first competitive game of the season. Mm -hmm. What are you hoping to achieve this season? Looking at all the comp competitions that you're mm -hmm. in. Yeah, I, I I think that 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 probably kind of changes week to week. Um, depending on performances and results but the key thing at this early juncture is that we want to see an implementation of our ideas we, we want to make sure that again from a training perspective that, that we're working towards each game with a view to you know playing to our, to our maximum and I think at this moment in time the players are showing early signs of doing that so Friday will just be another option uh, another opportunity to validate that and that's what we're looking to capitalise on on Friday. It's been kind of a mixed reception from the fans about your, your appointment from mm -hmm. there what message do you give to the fans that say that your position here at Dundee United and you're the right man for the job? Yeah, I, I almost kind of feel like that, that, that narrative has shifted now. I think the fans are just ready to support the team. They're ready to come back into Tanadice and hopefully it's not going to be too much longer before we can actually welcome them back in here. But any manager is is under pressure to deliver results and performances and ultimately I, I want to be no different to that as well.